Hi everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Atlantic. So from this graphic, we can see that there is that disturbance, which is actually the remnants of Tammy, which may try to reform over the coming days and then a new area to watch in the caribbean so i have been talking about this for the past couple of days i have been showing you guys the runs and uh even highlighting that spot on my thumbnails and now here it is that the national hurricane center is now highlighting the area for potential development no guarantee that something will form i want to get that out there but at the same time uh, we know how very warm it is in the caribbean in terms of those sea surface temperatures and that can help to fuel activity but only if other conditions are conducive so we'll be taking a look at that in this update and let's get straight into it so going on to the satellite imagery there we can see tamis remnants again they could try to reform but they're likely those strong gusty winds at times for uh, bermuda and as the system loiters around if it moves by close enough it could actually bring some rainfall activity as we head to uh, through today and into tomorrow as well now going out into the main development region there we see a couple of systems out there uh disorganized systems with some of that activity there's still that surface trough in the caribbean and that is helping to induce a lot of heavy rainfall across some areas and i saw the comments from you guys especially persons from barbados talking about the flooding that happened there so unfortunately uh with these periods of very heavy rainfall being induced that is a possibility so i hope that most of those flood waters have uh, receded up to now but there is still that trough in the area and there is the possibility of additional heavy downpours and even across other areas as well but as we look to the south caribbean there is seen all that disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity so that area of low pressure a broad area of low pressure could form there over the coming days and make its way up to the north that's going to be the general track of it so it's really going to be whether it develops or not but even if it doesn't if we're talking about an area that is producing a lot of disorganized activity making its way up to the north North areas such as Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and based on the track, if this decides to drift a bit more to the east, then Haiti could feel impacts from it. So uh, that is if it is something that is producing a lot of activity, though. So there could be tropical storm-like impacts from an area of that it has the potential to do so but i want to take you guys to something very quickly but look at the northwest caribbean going up to the bahamas notice that you're not seeing all these colors that were seen in the south caribbean why is that so well, when the fronts make their way out of the U.S., they bring with them cool, dry air. Now, that dry air in particular helps to stabilize atmospheric conditions and is, is kind of an inhibiting factor when it comes on to development because of uh, these thunderstorms, uh, tropical cyclone activities, all dependent on instability so we're looking at the dry air map and here we can see that across the majority of the gulf going to the northwest caribbean and off the east coast of the u.s there's a lot of dry air so if that dry air lingers around in the vicinity of that low pressure area when it forms then that can actually help to prevent any substantial development of the system. So it is an area to watch for sure. And we know that the waters are very, very warm to support development, not only at the surface, but also deep beneath the surface. There are those very warm waters, all that stored energy waiting to feel whatever is trying to form. Now, if there should be development, the next name on the list is Vince. So let's see if Vince is going to form from that expected area of low pressure. But I'll uh, go into the Caribbean rainfall activity expected through today. This is from the Euro model, and here we can see uh, that the map gets pretty colorful across portions of Central and South America, and even going to the Eastern Caribbean as well. So there is a pretty uh, decent risk of flooding across some areas today. So going to the Northwest Caribbean parts of the Yucatan of Mexico, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola, even going up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Florida, there may not be as much rainfall, maybe some heavy downpours at times, some intermittent showers, but at the same time, a whole lot of activity is not expected today. However, in Jamaica, for the easternmost parishes, there might be some heavier downpours. So let's see if that actually comes to fruition. 
Houston. As we head to portions of Belize, Hamburgers, Key, the Bay Islands, uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, especially down to Costa Rica and Panama, a lot of heavy rainfall is expected. So there may be periods of some significant flooding, even mudslides across those susceptible areas. And then as we head to Northern South America, Colombia, and even parts of Venezuela, we can see that it's a similar story here. ABC Islands may receive a bit of rainfall activity. So it has been on the wetter side for the ABC Islands, fortunately for Ruba Curacao Bonaire. So I hope you guys are enjoying that cool weather there and hopefully get a bit more rainfall activities today. I know how much you guys have been longing for it. Heading out to the Guianas, we're not seeing where a whole lot is expected. There may be some periods of heavy rainfall, but uh, for the most part, nothing crazy is anticipated. And then going to Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Barbados, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Martinique, and especially heading further up north, Dominica, Guadeloupe, uh, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua, Barbuda, Ceiba, St. Eustatius, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy. All those islands could experience those, uh, those periods of very heavy rainfall, which may trigger flooding. We're seeing more of those burgundy shades for the Leeward Islands, so there could be some heavier downpours within the area. Going over to the Virgin Islands, we're seeing them in that uh, reddish shade as well, and even some spots in Puerto Rico within that orange and that yellow shade. So there could be these periods of very heavy rainfall which trigger flooding. So please keep that in mind, guys, and should there be floodwaters for you, please do not attempt to cross because uh, that can be a significant danger. Turn around don't drown. Now, going to what the National Hurricane Center has, with well, 30% chance of development, this area was marked last evening in the 8 p.m. update. So it was at 20% at the time, and now it is up to 30%. And again, we're not seeing that X because the low pressure area has not yet formed. But once it does, we will see it, and the area is likely to drift generally to the north. Again, if conditions are conducive enough, we could see some development of it. And uh, even for that off in the northwest the northeastern caribbean rather if that drifts into a more conducive environment then we could see it try to become something and get a circulation going we'll have to wait and see for that but in terms of what models are expecting us go on to the gfs this is as we head out to sunday the 29th so this coming sunday we can see that trough trying to get itself together and gfs actually showing that low pressure area uh, more over to the south of the western side of haiti there we see it a thousand for millibar low pressure area and then the model has it drifting up to the north not becoming anything too much but uh, that trough up there trying to get itself together so GFS on the whole is not showing a whole lot becoming of that expected low as we head on to Euro, this is as we head out into uh, Monday, there we see that low pressure area very disorganized. We're not seeing those closed circular lines or isobars, for example, with that eastern Pacific system just offshore of Central America. That is definitely a tropical storm, and uh, we're not seeing that kind of pattern here with this low. So likely a disorganized system eventually drifting up to the north, uh, making its way over. Again, if it is sustaining a lot of activities, it could unleash periods of very heavy rainfall for Jamaica, which may actually trigger flooding across some areas. But again, that is not a guarantee. It will all depend on how much the system develops because there's that dry air out there. And then going on to the Icon model, this is as we head into Sunday. There we see it. Now, Icon has been very, very consistent about this low pressure area. Uh, it has been the most consistent model about something trying to develop, making its way over Jamaica and moving further up to the vicinity of Cuba and the Bahamas. So as we head to Monday, they're showing that low pressure area and all that activity associated with the trough. And then as we head into Tuesday, we see it making its way toward eastern Cuba and uh, all that activity also spread it into portions of the Bahamas. So there you can see it, guys. These models are expecting that we'll see that low pressure area form. But in terms of tropical cyclone development, that's not really expected right now. So conditions might not be highly conducive to allow for that to happen. However, there may be changes in terms of the potential intensity of the system, but that will all be dependent on how conducive environmental conditions are. So even if there is a small window of opportunity uh, for it to rapidly get itself together, it could do so when it does form. So let's wait and see, guys, but I'm here to keep you posted with my dual updates every single day. So that is pretty much it for this morning, and I hope you found it 
it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can, and remember to always be otherwise.